If you were at the opening plenary yesterday, uh, you would hear the executive management team of SWIFT actually announce that there has been a very exciting joint venture with partners in India. In fact, SWIFT and top Indian banks have established this joint venture to provide high quality, reliable messaging services for the Indian financial community. And we're going to talk about this right now. Joining us to discuss it are Mr. Mavila Nair and uh, let me just tell you a little bit about him. He is the chairman of the board of our joint venture. He's also the current chairman of the Credit Bureau in India. He's the ex-chairman and managing director of the Union Bank of India and also the ex-chairman of the Indian Banking Association. So definitely a very highly respected, experienced leader in the Indian banking industry and has really been one of the driving forces in bringing swift India domestic services to life. So in other words, a very important guy that we've got sitting down next uh, to me. And also with us is another important guy, Patrick DeCourcy. He's the Deputy Chief Executive and Head of Markets and Initiatives for Asia Pacific. So thanks very much to both Thank of you, you for you. giving us your time. Let's start with you, Mr. Nair. Tell us about this new venture with SWIFT in India and how it's going to work. Yes. Uh, as a matter of fact, as you rightly said, um, yesterday, I was lucky to be part of the plenary session when um, the chairman announced um, the starting of joint venture in India, I felt uh, I'm part of the, one of the historical events. Mm -hmm. For the reason, for SWIFT, uh, Go Local uh, initiative, initiative starts from this joint venture. So that is why it becomes extremely important for us. Now, why in India SWIFT is important is also I mean, uh, very relevant because we are in the right stage where centralized secured messaging system has to penetrate every uh, financial market players. Mm -hmm. Uh, we need um, you know, technology-led products for our customers. We need um, you know, straight-through processing, uh, less of uh, manual intervention. We need a variety of products to come in. We need cost to be reduced. We need um, mm -hmm. you know, um, uh, security to go up. So it's about to start off. And at this point in time, to have an opportunity to start a joint venture for SWIFT is a uh, very, I mean, uh, ideal one. Mm -hmm. Having said that, um, in India, seven large banks, largest banks, accounting for more than 60% of the business, mm -hmm. have partnered with SWIFT to form SWIFT domestic um, uh, company. So that's why I'm, in, um, I'm very happy that, that mm -hmm. this announcement has taken place yesterday. So tell us how this is all going to work in practice. Patrick. So, so in practice, um, we have the joint venture. It's 55% owned by SWIFT, 45% by the partners uh, in India. Uh, we're going to deploy technology on the ground in India to deliver messaging services domestically. Um, and in, in our minds, uh, we're really excited about this because we believe it proves the relevance of SWIFT services in fast-growing countries and mm -hmm. fast-growing economies. Uh, provided that we can adapt to local realities in terms of pricing, in terms of functionality, in terms of governance. Uh, it shows that there is a lot of scope for uh, SWIFT to grow mm -hmm. in fast growing economies. Mm -hmm. We've announced this now. Yes. Um, in two to three years, what's success, what will success for you look like? What are you expecting that you want to achieve? Yeah, I think, um, um, I mean, the way we are looking at it is, um, uh, I think it may take about 12 months to go up and running. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I mean, the, the Indian market is actually exploding. Mm. Um, yesterday, the Indian Bank Association chairman made a mention about the financial inclusion. Mm -hmm. um, is something which was a uh, you know, game changer envisaged about five years back. Today it's actually yes. happening. You can see it on the ground. Now what it really means is 50% of the population getting into it, adding to the financial transactions. Mm -hmm. The urbanization is moving people uh, into the cities and Indians by n nature are uh, mobile, so they go abroad. So mm -hmm. huge amount of workers' remittance is taking place. Corporates are going out, corporates mm -hmm. need the products. Um, market infrastructure players needs a product. So we uh, believe the next three years, the way uh, mm -hmm. things will happen is uh, SWIFT, in my view, should be able to reach out to every market operator in the country mm -hmm. and provide our services. And yesterday I was very happy when the uh, chairman made an announcement on the compliance side. Mm -hmm. um, there's something which is actually bothering every banker in the country. 
uh, in case Swift comes out with the product, which is what the uh, agenda is all about, uh, my view is uh, it'll be one of the very important products uh, because otherwise we are groping in the dark how exactly we'll get into uh, AML compliance. Uh, globally, regulators are changing rules every now and then. Mm -hmm. So in case uh, uh, Swift comes in with the product offering, it'd be a great boon. Mm -hmm. So I mean, that's how we look at it. Uh, I, I, would, I would add, if I may, in my mind, as you said, in, in two, three years time, we will have uh, all the banks in India using the services of the joint venture for payment systems, for trade finance. We will have started to expand in the securities world. Uh, and I think in two, three years time, we will start to see innovation that comes from India because of the market conditions there and the, mm. the tough market conditions there. Uh, innovations that the joint venture will start and that we can then mm -hmm. well, I think apply I, I globally. I a point there that uh, quite a few large organizations today are looking to India for innovating the product which is relevant to uh, emerging markets mm -hmm. uh, in the country. I think uh, SWIFT will also look to innovating on the products. Because one of these tough conditions, as you say, and you know, I'm Indian, so I could tell you, we love value for money. We don't yeah. like, uh, we don't like yes. paying uh, high costs Absolutely. for anything. So that's going to be a big issue Very for just going around, yes. isn't it? Yeah. Yes. How do you think uh, that uh, SWIFT can, can do this most effectively in the Indian market. Well, I think um, you absolutely touched the right point because every uh, I mean multinational company which came into India initially very hesitant mm. to uh, you know offer products that, uh, I mean, as mm. rightly said, value for money proposition. But finally, what they have found, whether it is uh, Unilever, they found, they <coughs> cut the cost, developed the products relevant to it, they expanded and then offer the products globally. So my view is uh, the demand for a very cost-effective product offering will always be there, but the volumes will justify. We may need to cut on the cost of implementation, we may need to uh, tighten our belts and um, bring down the cost of uh, operation, bring down the cost of product offering, and I think Swift will succeed in that. Okay, <laughs> and final words from you. <coughs> what, what else would you like everybody to know about this joint venture? I, I'm really look, look looking forward to the opportunity for Swift to learn uh, from our partners, from the market, mm -hmm. uh, and, and be able to, to make improvements that will benefit the whole of the cooperative mm -hmm. and, and ensure our relevance in, mm -hmm. in the years to come. Okay, well thanks both of you for Thank joining you. us. I know you, you guys are very busy. Thanks for giving us some Thank of your time you. today.